Coming up in today's video. Dude, we're down to 10. We made it down to 10 ping. Dude, this guy's a genius. Check him out. <laughs> Link in the description. That's insane. Daya, I'm back, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite related video. Today, we're going to be talking about reducing your ping. But holy crap, it's been a long time. I'm back from my hibernation. You know, slept for a solid month straight there. Just no content. No water or food, just slept the entire time. Actually, right in the bed that you see behind me, so. But I'm back on it, baby. We're gonna be going over some Fortnite ping reducing tips. So let's just jump in with the first tip coming from Pro Guides. Are you getting bad lag in your games of Fortnite? Well, these are the best things you can do to increase your connection speed. The best way to get the best ping is to use a wired connection like I do. It's more stable and it's more reliable than a wireless connection. But if you have to use a wireless connection, you need to be as close to your router as possible. Try not to have any walls or floors between you or the router because obstacles will mess up the signal. None of that work? Then change your DNS server to Cloudflare's. It's better than Windows default. You can do this by changing your IPv4 in the network connection settings of Windows. Your DNS server settings need to be exactly the same as mine. All else fail? Turn everything off and on again. That'll reset your connection and might clear any data blockages slowing things down. Those are the easiest ways to boost your ping. Subscribe for more daily tips and head over to ProGuides.com for the best one-on-one -on -one coaching. All right, so the first tip is going to be plugging in an Ethernet cable if you have that available. Of course, this was going to help with your ping. Uh, we're actually going to test that out. I'm over on Wi-Fi right now, and I'm on NA West. We're going to jump into a, a creative and test it out and see what our ping difference is. Right, we're going to max out the HUD. As you can see, we're at 26, 25, 26, 24, 21. This is going down, wow, uh, about 23 or 25, whatever. That's the, that's what my ping is right now on just wired, anywhere in that mid 20 range. So now let's plug in an Ethernet. Let's see what happens here. All right, now we're plugged in with Ethernet, and uh oh, this is not good. How am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say we're at like 40 ping. Okay, so now we're 20. I think 20 is the lowest it's been. So Ethernet's definitely helped a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a massive difference, but. I also have a pretty fast Wi-Fi connection, but if you guys, ooh, 17. But if you guys do plug in an Ethernet, um, you'll definitely get better ping. So let's move on to the next tips. That's that's like a tip that everybody knows is plugging in an Ethernet. Let's let's see what other secret settings we can take advantage of. Shorts reduce ping from 110 to 30 in 30 seconds in Valorant. Oh, Valorant. Ugh. Oh, this guy has a really good video on it. How to fix packet loss and reduce ping. Hey guys, go check out Hey It's Cameron on YouTube. I think that guy makes some really good videos. Delivery optimization. Oh, there it is. Delivery optimization advanced settings. Press on that. Then here, you're going to want to uncheck absolute bandwidth. If it is, if it is checked, I mean, uncheck, uncheck it then. Then this is going to go with this. This is going to be unchecked already if you uncheck this. Then you're going to want to check this. Check these two right here. Make sure it's on 5% on both of them. And then for the upload settings, you're going to want to check both of them as well and put 5% and then 5 gigabytes. And that's all you're going to have to do for this Windows setting right here. All right, let's give this a shot. Delivery optimization advanced settings. We found it. Oh, snap. It is checked on absolute bandwidth. Let's go to percentage of bandwidth, a measured bandwidth. And he had this at 5%. Okay, he has 5% on both of these. Limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in a foreground. Huh. All right. Sure. Let's go 5% here. And 5 gigabytes. All right, well, he said it. Let's go ahead and jump in into Fortnite and see if this actually helped out. Let's test it out. Oh my God, this guy might be onto something. Wait, it was down to 18. 18. It's not bad. It, I mean, it's at 20, 21, 17. This guy, 14, 12. This guy's onto something. Dude, we're down to 10. We made it down to 10 ping. Dude, this guy's a genius. Check him out. <laughs> Link in the description. That's insane. Dude, no lie, I'm actually so hyped right now. That is, that's amazing. We actually found a new setting that we've never heard about, guys. I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, we're gonna check out the rest of those those settings that he has in that video, because this is baller. <laughs> and here, you're gonna wanna look for network adapters. Here it is. Press that, and then make sure you press on Realtek PCIe uh, family controller, whatever. 
or whatever uh thing you use for your wi-fi or internet or whatever you use but mine's is a real tech so i'm gonna press on this then here first thing you want to do is go to power management make sure that all three of these are unchecked and then after this you're going to want to go to advanced and then on advanced you're going to want to make sure this is on disabled 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 and then rx and tx enabled and then this is disabled this is enabled and then this is the last one we're going to need and it's going to be disabled these the rest of these don't really matter but make sure you copied all of the ones all right let's jump in there and let's get that done device manager network and where's network network adapter so this is a i have a different one but he was using realtek pcie family controller so we're going to go to properties and he said first go to power management uncheck all three of these uh oh that's actually dude that's actually smart allow the computer to turn off this device to save power yeah no he's right so we'll want to disable that under power management um next thing he said go to advanced uh disable advanced eee disable arp offload auto disable gigabyte disabled energy efficient ethernet i think he had that one on enabled right disabled rock controller rx and tx enabled yep interrupt moderation we do have that one enabled so let's just test that out uh we saved all those changes and let's go back into fortnite see if any changes happened while updating those settings here so we're still we're still doing really good we're at 12 14 13 uh i'd say it didn't really make too much of a difference on this side but maybe it helps with uh like long term maybe stabilization so it's it's too early to tell if it helped to lower it more but oh nine eight seven oh my god that's the lowest ping i think i've had in a long time but that's pretty dope um, but yeah, no, so far all these settings have been wonderful, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to have to call it here. I'm um, just keeping this one real basic. But if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, let me know. I'll do more videos like this. Maybe we'll do an FPS boost video on the next one. But yeah, it's been Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.